The title of our mathematical investigation is Mads, We Heal as One. The member of this mathematical investigation are Lorime A. Bugahod, Rene S. Bugahod, and Grace Ann S. Balagulan. Abstract. This study characterizes the knowledge upon which mathematics teachers could motivate learners in engaging the subject. This examines the trick maths in arriving the constant one. Three secondary mathematics teachers of Rizal High School participated in the study by discovering possible tricks that could be true to all math concepts. The results revealed that the answer from the math trick will always be 1. A variable multiplied, added, divided, and subtracted by itself will give an answer 1. A constant multiplied, added, divided, and subtracted by itself will yield an answer 1. A polynomial multiplied, added, divided, and subtracted by itself will result to 1. And an equation multiplied, added, divided, and subtracted by itself will arrive to 1. The researchers provided wide range of examples to correct learners' misconceptions and difficulties in dealing with constants, variables, polynomials, and equations. Generally, this math trick could help children to happily learn mathematics since if they're going to choose a number, then multiply, add, divide, and subtract itself consecutively, it will yield an answer 1. Finally, through this easy trick, we could heal the fear of learners and probably help sharpen the minds of people in engaging mathematics. The parts of a mathematical investigation are the following. Introduction, statement of the problem, conjectures, verifying conjectures, justification, summary, possible extensions, and references. Introduction. Why MADS or what is MADS? MADS is an acronym for multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction. And why we heal as one? Because we wanted as researchers to heal the fear of our students in learning mathematics. Discoveries are the new era of learning. But basics should never be forgotten. A lot of people, especially neophyte learners, tend to be afraid of mathematics because of its complexities. Therefore, educators play an important role in motivating the learners. One way is to uniquely introduce numbers with the four fundamental operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division hoping that after trying it by themselves, they could highly appreciate and enjoy mathematics, which could therefore encourage them to engage in more interesting topics. If only seen by everyone, that even some concepts of this subject are, are challenging, but when applied by the basic operations in mathematics, a constant will be arrived, which is one. Statement of the Problem This study aims to motivate iGen or those children born on 1995 to 2012 in learning mathematics by explaining how to use simple trick as it relates to basic arithmetic operation such as MADS, the multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction. Our conjecture. The result from the number trick will always be 1. We have here our observation, proof, and result. Choose a number n. Let's say our number n is n. If you're going to multiply it by itself, you will have n times n or n squared. And you will add n to the result. You will have n squared plus n. Then divide n to n squared plus n, your answer will be n plus 1. 
then subtract n from n plus 1. n plus 1 minus n will answer to 1. Verifying conjectures. We will try if our given conjecture will be true if our n is a variable. Okay, so we have our variable x. So x multiply by itself, you will have x times x. The answer is x squared. Then the result x squared, you will add x. So the answer will be x squared plus x. After that, you will add x to the result. So the answer will be x plus 1. Then subtract the result by the given variable. So x plus 1 minus x, your answer will be 1. How about choosing a polynomial? So here we chose 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So multiply it by itself. So 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 times quantity 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, your answer will be 4x fourth minus 12x cubed plus 13x squared minus 6x plus 1. After that, you will add the given polynomial, which is the 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, and your answer will be 4x fourth minus 12x cubed plus 15x squared minus 9x plus 1. After that, you are going to divide the given polynomial to the answer. So, your result will be 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. After that one, you will divide that one into the given. So, the given is again 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. Your final answer will be 1. So, to constant and to polynomial, it's true. How about trying it for an equation? So, we tried it to an equation very common to us, the quadratic formula, which is the negative b, positive and negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, multiply it by itself. So, the answer will be negative b, positive and negative square root of b squared minus 4ac squared all over 4a squared. After that, you divide it to the given quadratic formula. So, you will yield the answer square root of b squared minus 4ac minus b plus 2a all over 2a. After that, you will have the result. You will divide it or subtract it, sorry. You will subtract it by the given quadratic formula. Again, the quadratic formula is negative b, positive and negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. After that one, your answer will be 1. So, do our conjectures or conjecture make sense? Yes, our conjecture makes sense through this mathematical induction since the solution works for several cases. It works on the constants, variables, polynomials, and equation. Since we can justify conjectures by using observations of a pattern, an algebraic validation or some logical method. So with that, there could be a possibility that a child will get interested in the subject since the first child's experience in solving mathematics is just easy. Okay, so as what you have seen in the previous slides, so we are giving other examples other than that. So, the process is the same, maths, multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction. So, giving samples to constant, which is the 5, 
a polynomial which is the x squared minus 2x plus 1 and an equation E equals mc squared equation for light. Therefore, in our summary, we can conclude that with the use of the mad strict formula n squared plus n over n minus n equals 1 is proven to be true in all cases. So by solving the given math trick using the process or the MADS formula, the following conjectures were formulated and verified as true, that the result from the number trick will always be 1, that when a variable, a polynomial, and an equation, when multiplied, added, subtracted, uh, divided and subtracted by itself, will arrive to 1. The above tricks can be utilized by the IGEN learners for them not to be afraid of the subject mathematics. So, extensions. So, similar studies must be conducted to strengthen and validate the trick. Say, for example, arriving a number aside from 1 following the same process, the process MADS. Here are our references following the APA method. Thank you for watching.